Hey, Scott, thanks for having me. Um, we do expect uh, continued strength from U.S. markets, but we think that the um, leadership is going to start to change. As we move into 2022, really the policy levers flip. Um, as you've been covering, the Fed is likely to accelerate their taper and start hiking rates. That is not the case if we look at the um, uh, ECB or even in emerging markets, if you if you look at China, which is the biggest um, share of the emerging market index and, and really the most important country to be following there. We're also looking at fiscal stimulus, which is supposed to be um, coming out with about $850 billion equivalent um, in Europe. And we're looking at a fiscal drag in the U.S. So I think that we're, as we move into 2022, we're seeing better relative fiscal backdrop, better relative monetary policy backdrop, and that should support better relative growth differentials between the U.S. and international economies. So we still like the U.S., um, and I thought Josh's comments from, from earlier before I came on on small cap as something to watch are really key. Um, but we think the backdrop for international equities is going to be much better than it was in 2021. But you're still going to have a bunch of liquidity here in the U.S. You've got Marco Kalanovic over at J.P. Morgan suggesting you'll get to the end of the pandemic, right? Those, those are his words. And when you do that, you're going to have quite the boom on the other side that can take up whatever rate hikes come, especially for cyclical stocks here in the U.S. I totally agree with that. We think that the U.S. economy is well equipped to handle two, roughly two rate hikes in 2022. Um, but the valuations of international equities have just been pummeled over this year. Um, we're still looking at restrictions and lockdowns in Europe because of COVID. So that hit has really been much harder on international economies. And what we haven't really seen is that pickup in global growth. And as we look into 2022, that's where we think we will start to see an acceleration in the global growth backdrop, whereas it's really just been all about the U.S. supported by extraordinary monetary policy and fiscal stimulus. So as we move into 2022, as you look at those countries and regions with a higher beta to global growth, you're looking at areas like Europe, Japan and China and with valuations steeply discounted versus the Russell 1000 or the S&P 500, we think that there's a lot of opportunity there.